What is going on, everybody? I am Dope Your Idiot Leader, and this is Dope Comics on my YouTube channel. I want to give a shout-out to Pistol Pete's Pawn Shop. What's going on down there, Pistol Pete? Brenda Sassy Scissors chopping up out of her. What's going on? Oh, Andy and Handy Andy's. He's a handy man. I don't know. What is going on, everybody? What am I talking about? I'm so excited because today, golly, my face is red. Today... We're doing bronze and copper age horror. Does it get any better than that, people? Does it really? Really? I don't think so. I like Preco, but I don't know if it's better than the bronze age copper horror. I love that stuff. You can still get it cheap, and it's a badass book. There's all kinds of great covers in that. What can I say? I love that stuff, and today we're going to be looking at the bronze and the copper horror before Halloween, where we do the pre-code horror, we're going to be hitting all the bases. So the first one today had to include this. This is my favorite Tomb of Dracula cover. This is number 19. I have multiple copies of this. And I also have the 45. I don't guess it. Yeah, I got the record. I, I got the power book record. I don't know what size the damn record is. But I think it's a 45. But I've got the power book record of this. I've got multiple copies of this. This is my favorite Tomb of Dracula cover. Love this book. Snowbound in hell, baby. That's what this is all about. Tomb of Dracula 19. I pick them up every time I see them. And then we're going to some scary tales. We're going to number 13. Unlucky 13, the negative image. Look at that werewolf hiding behind that tree. Here comes a girl through the woods. I love this negative image. Kind of reminds me of some typo negative covers and something. But I love, love, love this book right here. Also, we got Tomb of Darkness number 10. We got these zombies. They're pulling down this man. It looks like Luke Duke. They're pulling him down in the hole, the hole of death. He's uh, he's really in trouble. I don't think he can get out of this one. Too many of them. They're too big. They're too quick. There's too many of them. Also, we got one of the cla ah, classic covers, man. This blows your dick off. My dick be shooting around a ring, shooting around a room like a damn, like a, like a, a bottle rocket screamer. It's just ricocheting off of walls. Every time I see this Vault of Horror number four, this is the cover. Love this book. Vault of Evil number four. Get you some. That's a great cover right there. And a classic cover. Reminds me of the pre-code horror days. Don't forget, don't sleep on the unexpected. A lot of people sleep on unexpected and also weird mystery tales. People sleep on that too. Don't sleep on two towels. People always remember like House of Secrets and House of Mysteries. But Unexpected has so many great covers. This is a pre-code looking horror cover to me. It is beautiful. The black is beautiful. This is a great looking book. What can I say? You need this in your collection. And uh, another great one is Punk Punk Rocker. Punk Rocker Frankenstein. We're used to the regular Frankenstein. But every once in a while... Punk Rocker Frankenstein comes out with his purple hair and he's choking the shit. He's fixing to choke slam Wolfman. Are they fighting over that girl in the background? Uh, are they fighting because Frankenstein stole Wolfman's shoes? I don't know what's going on here, but he's got the death lock on him. And this right here is Dr. Spectre. Can't, I don't even know what number it is. So fired up. And this is a gr the greatest Boris Korloff cover of all Golden Key books. This is uh, Boris Korloff's Tales of Mystery. Look at them zombies. They're all in the water. This is a painting somewhere. There's original artwork of this somewhere. And I wish I knew it was that. Because I'd buy it for an unlimited amount of money. We don't need to eat. Then you get Haunted. Don't forget about Haunted 17. I buy this book every time I find it too. I got three or four copies of this. It's a trippy dream state world. These weeds are alive. I love this cover. I love it. Every time I see it, I buy it. I think I've used this for a couple thumbnails. Love that book. And what about Ghost Manor if you're talking Charlton? You got to talk about the old Teddy Bear and the Corpse. Teddy Bear and the Corpse? Uh, that'd be a cool piece of original artwork too. Love this book. Ghost Manor number 23 if you're on eBay and you want to buy one. Also, if you're talking black and white, you're talking black cat goodness. You're talking vulture. You're talking boat cat. You got, you got a boat? Yeah, we got a boat, and it's a coffin. And we're talking 
House of Mystery, number 205. 205. We got this Grim Reaper. He's got a stick. He's got a shitty-ass boat. But he's got the cat on the front. He's got the vulture on the shoulder. He's got the full moon behind him. If I was in the swamp land doing a little crawl daddy hunting that night and I seen that coming, woo-hoo-hoo, watch out, lock the doors. Anyway, <laughs> House of Secrets number 105. Classic cover. Three boys out fishing in the swamp, minding their own business. They didn't know there was a serial killer on the loose. They didn't know there was a serial killer dropping swamp sluts in the swamp late at night. But that's exactly what's going on. It's a swamp, swamp slut dropping. And that's what happens. You just drop them in the slut. slut. You drop them in the swamp, them swamp sluts. Say that five times fast. And since we're talking about Halloween, uh, this is my notorious uh, House of Secrets number 111. I have four books that came from my small hometown. Uh, I bought a collection of books, and I had no idea at the time uh, that these were the books that uh, I found out that a boy, a young guy I went to school with, Blew his head off with a shotgun in his bedroom. And uh, these comic books were in his bedroom. And I, I bought his whole collection a few years later at a yard sale, not really knowing it was the collection that was in his bedroom or his collection until I bought them. And uh, they've all got the little thing on the back, so I know which ones are which. But I kept four books, and I just got rid of all the rest of them because it was like... Uh, there's only a couple horror books in there, and this is one of the horror books I, I kept. Uh, it was a Kiss magazine and a couple other books. And the rest were uh, uh, Micronauts, um, uh, just all kinds of weird stuff like that. And uh, the name is escaping me. What's the Marvel's Batman? Marvel's Batman. What's that dude who walks around the white sheet on? Uh, Moon Knight. Had a whole bunch of Moon Knight in there. And I don't care anything for Marvel's Batman. But anyway, House of Secrets, number 111. This is from the Creepy Collection. Uh, this book always creeps me out. I've got other copies of this book, but this one is the one because I've got it marked. Uh, if books could talk, we'd probably know all kinds of crazy stuff about stuff. Anyway, what about, believe it or not, Golden Key? we got this demon jumping over tombstones. Uh, he's trying not to get caught by these safari dudes. I don't know why he's scared of safari dudes. You are a demon. You're a demon jumping over tombstones. Go kick their ass, man. Classic cover here. This would be a classic piece of artwork. Love this cover. Just some boys hiding in the graveyard. I used to do this kind of stuff. I'm from a small town, and we didn't really have anywhere to go and play. We had no parks. Uh, we would always just play in the graveyards, camp out in the graveyards. That's why I brought Graveyard Kids a couple of weeks ago from Mario Stein thing. It was something that might remind me of my past, but it sucked. Anyway, look at this book. Kids playing in the graveyard, and uh, there's some dudes over here, and might not be a good ending. Also, we got unexpected number 164. 164 is a beautiful copy. This is a black book, bell bottoms, ghosts coming down the steps. We got the lantern going. Beautiful book. Love that one. Uh, we just talking about Weird Mystery a while ago. Weird Mystery Tales have some awesome covers. Don't forget about Weird Mystery Tales. This is an awesome cover. Love this book. I probably wouldn't get out in the fall, guys. I'd probably just wait this one out in the car. Uh, weird Mystery Tales. Talking about Weird Mystery Tales. Here we are at the house. We got a nice Grim Reaper outside the house. The dog senses death. Got the old house back there. Really, really cool. Now, these next four, you got to have them. If you're a, a collector of horror, these are Dale books. You should be able to find them. Not too expensive, but there's four of them you got to have. You got to have the mummy. Look at that mummy book. The mummy book is kicking. I love the mummy book. I got the werewolf book, too, but I don't count it because he's like invisible. It's kind of a cheesy one. This is my favorite. I have multiple, multiple copies of this. This is The Creature from the Black Lagoon. You got to get you some of that. This is one of the most expensive ones to find. You should be able to pick up one for around 100 bucks or less. 
This one's the hardest one to find. It's the Dracula. Beautiful Dracula. Uh, most time, if you do Dale Dracula, them cheesy Dracula ones are going to pop up. Not this good one. But this one's kind of rare, kind of cool. So you need some of that in your life. Dale Dracula. And the last one, it's the big man. It's the big man back there. Frankenstein. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful books. Dale did it right, baby. I love these covers. I love this stuff. Love this time of the year. Best time of the year. Best books all the time. It's Halloween time here because it's always Halloween in my soul. As that little girl says on reels. Anyway, until the next time, read your comics. Enjoy your comics. Love life. I'm out.